So morning work's done. Time to do cardio. There's definitely times I'm jealous of people who can who run. I mean, I don't want to run, but the idea of that I could just put on shoes and take off outside and be good to go would be cool. But then I'd be crippled because I'm overweight and running sucks. How's your morning? Mediocre. You want to go outside and run? Oh, poor puppy. Everything out there is disgusting. Uh, We'd probably be better off if we just set fire to the backyard. That'll fix it. No, it's definitely Well, it'd just be someone else's problem for at least a little while. The fire department. All right, and it's done. Time to go work out. Today is, uh, I think it's actually a deload week, so things will really start next week. So I'm gonna just squat and do some fun stuff. Maybe work up to a single of uh, the weight I'm gonna hit next week for training. Do some squats tonight, work up to probably, I don't know, maybe heavier, 75%. It's kind of a deload week, and I'll be diving into a true 10 week strength block starting Monday. And that'll bring me into the season. Pretty excited about that. Leg swings, a little warm up. Gonna do some, uh, some digging. And uh, we're gonna hit some weights. I think I'll work up to about 450 for a set of five or a couple sets of five today. Gonna switch to some box squats because uh, my knees hurt. Pretty cool. The wife put on a radio station for us to listen to and picked uh, Spotify funeral jams. It's uh, pretty sad, yeah. So the reason I do box squats or free squats or whatever, it just simply is a thrower. All I'm trying to do is make my legs stronger. So it doesn't really matter. Just do the movement. That's the important part. And I'm gonna do whichever one puts me in less pain. We have some uh, garage visitors. Puppy Brigade is keeping an eye on us. Nice. Sorry. 
So there's another really exciting exercise, uh, terminal knee extensions, Captain Thick Knees, TKEs, whatever you want to call them. I'm doing these because the right knee hurts. Feels like shit. So typically that's either due to, well it's due to my right knee being fucked, but there's going to be a big part of that that I'm just trying to get the patella to start tracking right. And these have always helped me in the past, so I'm going to start adding these in. Look, this is an exercise to just try to put a fucking band-aid on, on a bigger issue. My right knee is fucky, and this isn't going to fix it. It's going to hurt. It doesn't have an ACL, and it hasn't had one for probably seven or eight years. And the knee basically feels like there's just scraps of garbage floating around as it locks out. So you can imagine how cool that is. So a lot of this is just gonna be fucking keeping the wheels on the best I can. Fuck it, right? We're gonna roll out. We're gonna give it shit. I'm not gonna baby it, I own it. Post-workout, still smashing. Still either using CMBs or a kettlebell. Getting in that groin, tightening and relaxing, uh, digging through those legs, especially post squat. Just dig it through there and let it do some smashing. Roll it out on top, use your kettlebells, anything. Woo, that hurts. I need to spend more time like that. This, uh, in other accounts that my right knee is shitty, it doesn't really lock out all the way anymore. Got that going for it, right? And so, uh, putting that weight on it, grinding through that quad tendon, whew, feels real bad. Everything's kind of held together bits and pieces right now. That's all right. That's what you get, right? It's the price you pay for living your life. Uh, your recovery was gonna be a lot better the more that you take a little bit of time to stretch and motion things out. Like I can't afford to go get a massage every time after I train. And this is honestly the next best bet. Uh, and it's kind of before bed. If I was smart, I would do this right before sleep. So that's that. It takes about 10 minutes that I dig through everything a couple rounds. And there we go. And since we're not forgetting about our post-workout stuff, gut smashing. Again, it's really easy. Little kid soccer ball. It's kind of soft. And we're just gonna put it right into the guts. Right there on top of that psoas. I haven't found anything that really digs in a lot better. You can actually apply more pressure if you put this on the bench and then dig into it. No, I don't want to do that. I think it touches my spine. Yeah, as a thrower or as an athlete where I need rotational power, I need to find separation between my hips and my upper body. And if all of the stuff in my abs and obliques and psoas and guts is all mushed and locked down, I'm not gonna be able to get back and reach. It's gonna be too, too tight. The more I can loosen that stuff up, get some range of motion, get some flexibility, I, I can put myself in some better positions to throw farther and maximize the power I have. This is easier than squatting, that's true. That's about it for the day. Workout's done, edit's done. I'm gonna cook these steaks, I'm gonna eat some sweet potatoes, I'm gonna hang out with my wife and these pups. And tomorrow I'm gonna drive to Beaumont. Pew! So, 
that's a wrap. Did you get enough? <laughs> Did you get enough water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Aww. That's Bo, and he's a dum dum. What he's gonna do now is piss 37 times before bed. <laughs> you old man. <laughs> Bye.